Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to Prison Architect, where today we're taking a look at the new Sneezer update, uh, along with the uh, the new Psych Ward DLC, which has just been released. Well, it was released a couple of days ago, but I have been horribly busy. Uh, so here we go, we're going to take a look. There are heaps and heaps of things that have been added as part of this update, like heaps of fixes and heaps of new things. Let's just, let's just dive in. We'll create a new... All right, we're going to have... Oh, new wardens. Hawk Hartman, a former bailsman. Hartman passes down valuable training techniques to his security staff. Oh, uh, Mr. Dr. Slugworth. Uh, when all prisoners deny them, Slugworth opens the doors to the worst criminally insane inmates out there, believing he can help. Psychiatrist treatments are 20% more positive. The chances of receiving... The psychopathic, criminally insane inmates is higher. Lovely. And who's this? Dr. Hudson. Prepared to do what no other warden can. Emergency services work 20% faster and arrive earlier. And the cost... Wow, that's awfully handy if you've got a, like, a chaotic prison, as I usually do. Let's check out Dr. Slugworth. This should be fun. And what sort of crazy doggos should we have? We can have the classic doggo, old but experienced. Companion, a guard's best friend. Oh, that's lovely. What's this? A husky, a deadly trap for an escape, escapee moving through the snow. A Dalmatian, lovely. Uh, <laughs> cats, that's awesome. Not everyone is a dog person. Very, very true. And a dire wolf. I like this. I'm going to go, let's go with companions. I like that. Um, warden mode, players the warden. I don't think we'll do that this time. We now also have a desert plot and a lunar plot, which is... Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Let's do a desert plot. Why not? Uh, criminally insane. Yes. Oh my god. There's more options in here. Bureaucracy. Let's just do that. Do that, and we'll do this, so that we can get in and just fluff around with all the bits and pieces. Are there any new mutators? Mm, not by the looks of it. That all seems to be fairly standard. Yeah. No. There's nothing new there. That's okay. We'll leave that off, and we'll. Oh, I did a small one. Oh well. All right, so what does this look like? Um, we're going to have, um, I guess, we'll just build like a crazy little prison here. We'll just we'll just flip through and see what all the new things are. So foundations-wise, I read that one of these, so the main ones are brick building, sure, old and familiar. Then we've got concrete building, sure, old and familiar. I like the, the new, um, the, yeah, that's all kind of nice. What else have we got here? <gasps> Ooh, so we can make a white wall building. That's kind of nice. Um, we can have, I guess, a tiled wall building, like as a shower block. That's cool. An art deco, that can be like the office building over here. Yeah, great. We can have a cushioned building straight up. So we can like slam that there, right? And then, I don't know, oriental. Classy, mm, classy wall. Okay, I like that. Let's have a classy wall here. Classy blue stripes, classy green, oriental, and Utani. So Utani is the uh, um, that's the one that we uh, that we have that kind of looks like it's from the movie Alien. Um, walls and doors. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of new ones in here. My goodness me. All right. Well, first look. Let's do the first thing. Let's get ourselves a cheeky perimeter wall around this bad boy. Um, just so that we can like get ourselves set up and actually have a functional prison here. Um, it's, it's very messy. It's very messy. Look at that. Look at this instant, you know, like instant game mode does make this a little bit, a little bit cheesy and easy. Um, and we'll slap in, I guess just a big old gate at the front there. We'll have some, I guess, doors, staff doors, jail door yellow stripes hmm that's cool so we can have different colors <gasps> oh wow so you can have the doors like segregated to show who what security levels in there that's super cool that is oh man that's really cool and a secret door Ooh, that's kind of nice all right well look let's just go with we'll have like a staff door here we'll have like a regular door uh here wrong button um like visitor door, sure, we can have like uh, regular and then visitors going here, I guess, and that's fine. Um, and then we'll go like 
Jail door yellow stripes. Oh, jail door orange. Oh, it's a large one. Oh, lovely. Um, and then, I don't know, that. And then large one here. And then, I guess, yeah, secure door. Have that there. Sure. Why not? Why not indeed? Okay. What else is new? Flooring. Ooh. Grass corner. Oh, that's very nice. That's very... Well, it doesn't quite work when you're in a... Um, um, I mean, it, it does It does help. But when you're on a, a, a map that doesn't have uh, rocks around it, I guess then we could probably just put some, some dirt down, right? Around that. Oh, well, you get what I'm trying to do, right? I guess, I guess that kind of works to make a little, you know, a nice little zone for the guys to play about in. There's some sandstone here, which um, that's, wow, that's cool. I really like that. The little cracks here and the little uh, chipped out corners and such. That's cool. Uh, we've got a new uh, carpet here. Um, that's... Looks like it's going to be an upgrade from the old. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, blue carpet. That's going to look different too. Mm, very nice. Nice checker effect. Brown carpet. Mm, delightful. Let's get some of that down. How does that look? Yes. Very good. Okay, cool. And then there's, wow, limestone tiles. Let's get some of that out. Oh, no. That needs to go inside, apparently. Okay. Uh, Luna. So this would be the lunar map. Grass mm, stones. Lunar is cute. This is great. That looks lovely. Oh, for an outdoor area, that's going to look really cool. And then padded. Yes. Delightful. Mm, I like it. Very nice. Okay, some great new flooring options in there. There will be just so much more, so much more visual, you know, difference rather than just brick walls or concrete walls and then you know the standard floors we had before like this just looks so much better there's so much more flavor added in this all right rooms we now have a padded cell so we can have one of those like here right and then if we had another wall there it'd be oh, um uh cushioned there we go. Uh, and we'll have another one here and then I guess here, right? And then rooms, padded cell. We'll have a couple more of these, a couple more of these, a couple more of these. There's a note there that I could probably pick up. Excellent. Your aim is to build a prison. <laughs> no. Yeah, we figured that out. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so there's our padded cells. And I guess we can then like slap in a door for each of those. Like we'll give them secure doors, right? So we can just drop those in like that and that and this, and there you go. So what do these guys need? A bed and a toilet, right? So they're just a basic cell, but they've got some extra, you know, padding on the walls for our criminally insane persons. Uh, so that is very cool. The other rooms that we get access to now are a padded holding cell. So we could have one of those here, right? And again, toilet and a bench is the requirement there. Padded solitary cell. There you go, it's done, but I would put a, you know, you'd put a toilet in there and a psychiatrist's office. That is lovely. Look at this, what do we need? Office desk, chair, chair office, leather chair or a wooden stool, a wide sofa or a leather sofa and a filing cabinet. So that takes us into here. So we could have, oh man, look, oh, 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 oh. let's give this guy like, oh, this is like a little conference table down here. Oh, looky. Um, a big office chair. We'll just RP that he's got this monster desk here. He does need an office desk as well. Um, and I guess that would be oh, foot bridges. Oh, my goodness me. We'll have a chest of drawers. Oh, we'll have... Oh, there's almost too many things here now. I have a classy window. Oh, <laughs> look at this stuff. We've got signs. We've got canteen signs. So let's have... i tell you what. We'll give him a doormat. Let's get, um, oh, uh, let's filter list. Leather sofa. Let Unlocked after 10 more psychiatric sessions. Oh, okay, fine. So I need, let's, let's have a leather chair here, right? Where he can sit. 
And then we need a, just a regular old sofa that can be here for his patient to sit on. That's nice. Uh, we do need to slap an anatomy model. Oh my goodness me, that's kind of cool. We do need a desk. Where, where, let's, let's just search for desk, right? Office desk, that's fine. And we'll pop that so he can have his big table to sit at and then he can have his office desk over here and he can just scooch over. And then a filing cabinet, right there. Excellent. There we go. Psychiatrist office. Done. All right. We can slap a psychiatrist in there. We can have orderlies about. So these guys are like regular guards, but they're better at dealing with the criminally insane. Uh, we may as well get Dr. Slugworth in. He does need an office, but that's fine. And then psychiatrist. Oh, look at this fellow. Look at his fancy monocle and such. Look at him. Oh, ability average. That's just, oh, mm, yep. Loving it, loving it. This is great. Okay, so in addition, let's have a look at what our new doggos look like. There they are, look at them. It's like Wallace and Gromit. And who are they? We've got Blart, we've got Jar. There's a whole new bunch of names for these. This one's Dawson. So uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of new dog names that have been added. Um, and yeah, I'm interested, what's that E on the, the canine? Oh, it's because he's mirrored and that's a nine. Right, that's interesting. Um, never mind then. So what else have we got that's in here? Oh my fairy. Look, we got spooky trees. That will take a while to grow, but that's fine. Um, we've got floodlights, that's fine. Uh, they've got these footbridges as well, which I'm very interested in. So I guess, can I build a footbridge? Footbridge B, steel footbridge B, Wow. Can I build that over the road? I can. That is very cool. I can't build it over a um, a wall. I could probably build it over a fence, I suppose, but that's cool. I'm liking that. Steel footbridge. So this one looks like that. Oh yeah. Still can't go over the perimeter wall, but why would you want to do that anyway? You can also have a wooden one, you know, for that rustic feel. That'd be good if you had like, a river um, in your map. Like if you had water in your map, then you could use that. That's that's really nice. I like that. Gravestones, max amount placed. Okay, that's interesting. Um, is supplied for every death that takes place in your prison. Oh, that's delightful. Well, I've got some prisons where uh, in the past that would have been, <clears throat> yes, there would have been a, like a whole map dedicated to that, but never mind. A coat stand. Oh, that's nice. Let's, let's pop that in the psychiatrist's offices uh, as well. So there you go. It's just got a little hat and a uh, coat on it. That's very nice. Um, dog bowls. There you go. The doggos can have some food. That's kind of a nice thing to add. And then, oh, what do these signs look like? Oh, they go on the walls. That is excellent. What a delightful little addition. Uh, there's also a raw charts test. I tell you what, let's get some inmates in here. Um, Prisoner intake, all available, and we're only going to have criminally insane people coming in. How's that? I reckon that's the way to go. And then we can start like testing them up and see what happens. Um, we've got some more uh, trees and stuff that we can place. There is a light lamp. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, and a whole, just a whole bunch of other little bits and bobs. It's kind of... There's kind of too much to go through this all in one video. I mean, I kind of get the feeling that from here, I'm best off just straight up doing a new playthrough. Yeah? I think that's going to have to be the way we go. Um, look at that. That's so lovely. That's really, really nice. Okay, what else have we got in here? Logistics wise, um, cell status, that's a nice one. So what does this do? Free cell, oh, okay. And then room quality, obviously. Um, laundry, yep, yep, that, that's all normal. But cell status to show you which cells are free and which aren't at a glance, pretty nice, pretty nice. That's a, that's a nice little addition. Um, Let's get ourselves, I tell you what, let's get a chief. 
uh, and a foreman. And that's probably all we need for now. So we can now look at deployment. Anything new in here? Patrols, right. So we've got our colored patrols. So we can have the blue patrol. Yep, and the magenta patrol. Cool, lovely. Uh, deployment wise, insane sec only. Sure, that's nice. That's a new one. Um, death row only. That's all fine. That's all. That's all standard. Uh, assign orderlies. So that's instead of assigning a guard. Dog handlers. Right. We'll get them patrolling these. I mean, we could get the doggos patrolling into the cells. That's kind of nice. Just as a assign them to that area instead of patrolling them in any area. That's kind of nice. I really like that. Um, prioritize patrol. Yeah, okay, so we've seen that guy before. Logistics, we've seen. Intelligence. Um, so one of the things that I did see was that um, needles, medicines, drugs. Medicine and drugs have been uh, updated, so they're a little uh, easier to discern who's who. Sedative shot. Cool. Okay, what else is this guy carrying? A fountain pen, which is a, me a weapon, and a gold pocket watch, which is a luxury. Those are two new things we've not seen before. Very nice. Um, quick build has now been, uh, has now been updated so we can get some padded small cells added in very quickly and easily just like this. Ooh, yeah. Lovely. Very easy, very quick and easy to add those in. We can have some medium ones as well. So they get a telly, uh, so that they can get a bit more entertainment going on. Very nice. Um, the additional grates aren't required there guys. That's really, that's really not necessary. Um, oh, and look, you can change the. You can change the wall type, Art Deco, so we could have a padded solitary cell made out of Art Deco walls. We can have a another psychiatrist office. Yeah, that's really, really cool. That is, that's a lovely addition. That is a great way to, to just sort of bolster that up. I'm very happy with that. We can have a padded holding cell down here. And that's pretty much it for the uh, the quick build side of things. Um, oh, this is the other thing that got changed. So if I then make some plans, right? And I build that. Okay, that's immediately recognized that it needs to be a foundation. Lovely. Um, I can have doors and I can decide what type of door that is. Door, staff door, right? Visitor door. Okay, cool. And there's all of those there. Um, objects, I could click these down. I don't think they'll get auto built. Pathways, I can plan those out. And then I can say build plans. Wall type selection, uh, Art Deco. Okay. Blam. Auto build. The, uh, the objects are still there, but that's fine. I mean, you can populate those later, but to be able to plan out all of your stuff and then not have to go over and draw the, the actual foundations and walls onto it, that is super duper powerful. So you can, yeah, wow, that's that's gonna be a game changer. That's gonna be an excellent game changer. Um, emergencies, same as it ever was. And then, well, that's the spawn menu, which is the cheaty thing, um, which kind of don't really need to worry about that. That's That's kind of fine. So there you have it. There is a lot of new stuff um, that we've seen introduced. The most important thing is uh, is the psychiatry office. That's really, really cool. So with that in mind, okay, so I've done a little bit of tooling in the background and we're ready to bring in our first crew of, well, criminally insane people. So here's Matt McKenzie, for example, false accounting, video game piracy, <laughs> perjury, fraud, robbery, and not a great guy, not a great guy, Lindsay, Criminally insane, weak, outbreak, sickness, hyperactive, and psychopathic. Oh my goodness me. Um, wow, these guys have some um, depressed, sickness, extremely stoical, extremely volatile, psychopathic. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of new stuff going on here um, with just cool new things. He's an addict and he's claustrophobic. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be some there's going to be some fun stuff that we uh, oh escort to infirmary. That's a nice action. There's going to be some fun stuff that we can get up to with these guys, right? 
So hyperactive moves around much faster when feeling suppressed or untreated. Psychopathic, much more dangerous and unpredictable than other criminally insane inmates. This is very cool. This is really good. I'm really looking forward to playing with this. Um, so yeah, these guys are gonna these guys are gonna go and be put into these new padded cells that I've created. Put some uh, some wall lights on here. Put some windows on, which now appear on both sides of the wall, which is kind of nice. I've added a little uh, outdoor table to the lunascape here. Some tires, you know, they can climb on those. Um, uh, canteen, kitchen, couple of standard sort of things up here. I use the quick build tool to make some more padded cells, um, which is really quick, really easy. So I just go like, okay, cool. And it's more padded cells. Stat, sablonk, shadonk. There they go. Easy, quick, no worries. Um, the doggos are in here. They seem to be bugging out a little bit. Um, like they come into the, can uh, the, 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 the kennel and they don't like go to sleep like they're supposed to and make their little snoring noises. Oh, they're so beautiful. I love them. Um, sometimes they'll sort of station themselves here and the dog just gets exhausted. So I'm not sure what's happening there. We do have crates and we do have a kennel and we do have dog bowls. Um, but they just seem to get stuck. Oh, cause they're stationed. Oh, right. Um, so let's, let's unassign that, shall we? No? Okay. Unassign from there. Unassign from each of these. You gonna figure it out now? Okay, now they're, now they're, okay, now they're doing their patrol. That's good. That seems to have unstuck that. I'm not sure exactly how, how that broke it, but anyway, um, Right, so the other thing to take note of is that each of these, hello, Brendley, the fresh fish. Let's have a look at this guy. So Brindley, um, he's a fresh fish, which means he's just entered the prison. Um, he is agitated at the moment. And we've got this little bar across the, the top of his head. That's his level of, uh, basically his break level, his mental break level. How close he's gonna be before he just cracks and murders everyone. So good news is we've got a psychiatrist here. We can put him to work in keeping these guys. And I actually built another psychiatrist office there. Rightio, there, he's in there doing his thing. Lovely office. Look at the walls in this one. Very classy. Um, so what we can, what we can potentially do then is in our programs, um, we can have a look at psychiatric consultation there are 32 people in the queue here no regime time slot uh okay we can fix that up okay so i've, I've queued up some psychiatric uh, consultations here this should hopefully give these two guys the ability to start treating all of these guys like i mean osborne he's unstable now this guy's agitated bray he was uh, he's not too bad but we need to start looking after these guys right so psychiatrist currently preparing Excellent. So the psychiatrist is now treating this guy, right? Concentration, excellent. Understanding, excellent. He's uh, got a 38% attendance and his success chance in this consult is 100%. So this is really nice. I'm really liking this. Uh, it just adds another layer of things that you have to manage within your prison. And there he goes. Pritchard feeling much better. He's back down to agitated and dropping. So that I think is a, oh no, and rising. <laughs> well, never mind. At least we, uh, at least we are able to sort of keep these guys looked after, um, and slowly, you know, get them ready to be fully treated and released. This guy is calm. Oh, he's totally cool. He doesn't have a cell though, and he really wants to do a poo, but he's okay. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. Well, friends. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. It's a bit of a bit of a, you know, standard. I'm just going to have a poke about and see what this is. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll uh, I'll probably play some more of this in the future, and I'll um, yeah look forward to seeing you then. Thank you, friends.